Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at what would 100 shares of Cisco look like? And right now, they are currently trading at their 52 week low. So I'm curious, let's let's go ahead and figure this out. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and look at their numbers, their overall profile. The dividend yield right now is currently 3.5%. The payout ratio is 53%, which is good and healthy. And if you look at the bottom of your screen, I'm so sorry, it should have been left to write, but whatever. In 2009, look at their free cash flow, $8.9 billion. And as you fast forward throughout the years, just last year, they posted $19 billion of free cash flow. This company has a lot of cash on hand. And by the way, if you want a more thorough analysis on the numbers and the intangibles, then go ahead and watch my deep dive on Cisco. But with that said, let's go ahead and move on. So how much would this cost? 100 shares of Cisco. Right now, they're currently trading for about $45 to $46 a share. So 100 times that would be $4,552 up front. And just to remind you again, the dividend yield is 3.5% for a tech company, okay? A B2B tech company. There's nothing sexy about them, but behind the scenes, they're doing well. Anyways, for $4,500, that's about the same price as getting a very nice quality e-bike. If you don't know what an e-bike is, it's essentially an electric bike where the battery is built into the frame of the bicycle, which means you don't have to pedal as much to get from point A to point B. And the reason why I'm even talking about bicycles is because two and a half years ago, I made Made the drastic decision to sell my car and now I just use a bicycle to go everywhere. The reason why I'm even contemplating looking at an e-bike is because in the summertime, when I commute to my work, by the time I get there, I am just sweaty. I'm drenched in sweat. And the worst part is the ball sweat. Sometimes it just sticks to my thigh and it's just, it's very uncomfortable. And so yes, I do have to go to the bathroom and wash up. But if I utilized an e-bike, I feel like the amount of ball and butthole sweat I would accumulate for my commute would be drastically reduced. But that's neither here nor there. Let's move on. Now to figure out which numbers I wanted to use going forward for this hypothetical situation, I had to look at their past, right? And past performance is not indicative of future gains, but it tells a compelling story. So Cisco, for the past 10 years, from January 2015 to May of 2024, their rate of return every year was about just shy of 9%. And when you compare that to the market, the market returns 12.5% year after year. And I like to compare potential investments to the market because if that company or stock or investment cannot beat the market, then I might as well just stick with the market, right? And in this case, Cisco did underperform the market, but not by too much. So remember this number, okay? 9%, the rate of return. Because on the next screen, here are our assumptions. We're going to assume that the company is going to grow at a rate of 5% year over year. And that's including their share buybacks or if they have good things happening for them in the stock market in the rolling 365 day period. And remember, what was their dividend yield? 3.5%. So when we add that together, it's just shy of 9%, but it's better to err on the side of safety. And we are going to reinvest the dividends into the portfolio to buy more shares of Cisco, meaning we're not going to add any external contributions outside of those initial 100 shares. And the reason why I'm using very conservative numbers, you might be curious. Unlike you, hear me out. I'm going to expose you in front of everyone. If you are five foot nine and you're trying out online dating again because everyone's raving about Tinder in your circle, we all know that you just round up and tell potential partners that you're six feet tall. And the audacity that you have to even put six foot one on your driver's license. Buddy, you're five foot nine on a good day as soon as you wake up. Meaning by the time it's the evening or afternoon, you're most likely five foot eight. You are not an NFL football player. You don't get to squeeze in an inch or two. So just be honest of the people that are around you, especially potential partners. That was your new year resolution. Remember, honesty. I'm going to hold you accountable. Let's go ahead and move on. So what happens after 20 years of holding 100 shares of Cisco in a hypothetical portfolio? 
All right, so the initial dividend payout in the first year is gonna be $161, which I understand is not the highest number. But as you fast forward throughout the years, by year 20, you're getting $443 in dividends a year. And at the end of 20 years, you get $465 in dividends. Our initial 4,500 is gonna turn into $20,400. And the total return over 20 years is 350%. And you know what else happens after 20 years? Your man boobs are only going to get bigger if you keep skipping the gym. Yes, we know. You have all these excuses. I don't have enough time. Oh, I have to do this. This appointment's coming up. Listen, buddy, if you keep skipping the gym and you're okay with that, then you should know that Costco has a sale on their sports bras every once in a while. So keep an eye out, my friend, because your titties are only going to get bigger. So that's the story of the dividends, but what about the portfolio valuation? Well, in the beginning, there was 100 shares, the portfolio valuation is gonna be 4,500. And at the end of year one, it's gonna be 4,900. And as we fast forward to year 10, just shy of $10,000. And at the end of year 20, Yes, $20,000. So I guess if you look at it from a percentage increase perspective, then this is a pretty good ROI. You know, taking 4,500 to 20,400, not the worst thing in the world. But on the flip side, compared to the other company stocks that we have done on this channel in the 100 shares series, with Cisco, it's very underwhelming results. But it's okay. It's kind of like the first time that I ever met your wife's boyfriend. He's a pretty good guy, by the way. And he proceeded to give me a kiss on the cheek because apparently it's acceptable in his culture to kiss a stranger. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what your wife sees in him, but he needs to shave his short beard. It felt like a dish sponge rubbing against my face and not the SpongeBob looking side, but the scrubbing rough side. It wasn't fun. Otherwise, he had pretty good cologne. So you're either laughing or you're pissed off at me. But anyways, before you get any further thoughts, let's look at the before and after because it tells a good story. Initially, we had 100 shares. And at the end of 20 years in buying more shares with the dividends, 169 shares in the portfolio. The stock price is $45, maybe $46 right now. In 20 years, the share price should hypothetically be $120 if it continues to grow at a rate of 5%. The dividend yield starts starting is 3.5%. At the end of 20 years, it should be 2.25%. And that's because into the formula, we plugged in 2.7% dividend growth rate. And at the bottom of your screen are all the different various Cisco products and services. They have a lot more than this. So we just saw the hypothetical numbers with a future forecast based on their past performance. However, I wanted to dig a little deeper and see what exactly happened in the past 20 years when it comes to Cisco. Well, that's what you see on your screen right now. In the past 20 years, Cisco returned 189%. That's the total return. And for us, we're saying in the next 20 years, Cisco should have a total return of 350%. So are we being too optimistic? Like that's a legitimate and a genuine call out. But then again, I have to remind myself that we used very realistic and honest numbers. And a company that I want to compare Cisco to is Microsoft. Because hear me out, if you had bought into Microsoft back in like 1999 or the year 2000 around that dot com, bubble crash because everyone was hyping it up, it would have taken you 16 years. What you see right here from January of 2000 all the way to February of 2016 just to break even. So for Microsoft, this company that we see as this tech darling, this beautiful, golden, delicious Wait, what? What are we describing here? But Microsoft is one of those magnificent seven stocks, right? But their history kind of looked like Cisco up until recently, up until about the pandemic. So the total return in 16 years was negative 0.12%. So what I'm trying to say is by comparing Cisco to Microsoft, because Microsoft is also an old tech company. So what I'm trying to say is if Cisco can get it together like Microsoft did, it's going to be one heck of a story. 
story. If not, you're going to be in for a bad time. Like if I were to buy 100 shares of Cisco right now, it's going to be like boarding a flight from my local airport to the in-laws. And then Lady Luck places me next to the guy who farts and coughs the entire flight. Unless that sounds like fun for you, then I, I, I don't even know what to say. You're sick in the head. But here's an unspoken rule for all of you uncultured freaks out there. If you get placed into the middle seat and all three of you are strangers to the left and to the right of you, the person sitting in the middle gets both of those arm rests. I don't care. You can dislike this video if you want, but the guy sitting in the middle deserves those two arm rests. Because I'll tell you what, every single time I fly in a plane and I get placed into the middle seat, both of the knuckleheads to my left and right always take advantage of putting their hairy, disgusting, and sweaty arms on the armrest. And so I have to just cross my arms for the entire five to nine hour flight. Not fun. So there you have it, folks. That is what 100 shares of Cisco would look like today, fast forwarding 20 years. And I hope that you enjoyed this video because if you did, I would appreciate appreciate it, man, if you just clicked like. That's all I'm asking for. Anyways, I will talk to you next time. Stay safe. Bye-bye.